Um, so hello everyone again. Welcome to the From Interpolation to Presentation Surfers 3D Modeling Workshop. As many of you already know, we've been focusing on bolstering the 3D display and rendering capabilities inside Surfer over the past few versions where all the new functionality uh, in this new version is designed to save you both time and money, allowing you to complete your 3D modeling requirements without having to use other software packages. All of what I'm going to show you today can be accomplished inside the new version of Surfer, which is Surfer 26. All right, so in the presentation today, I'm going to be demonstrating um, how the new features can be used by both scientists and engineers alike uh, in the environmental industry to help create a, a conceptual site model which demonstrates or delineates the extent of subsurface soil contamination. So specifically today, I'm going to be focusing on gridding or interpolating um, field data that's already been uh, acquired to create a 3D grid or a 3D volume. Um, then we're going to transform that 3D grid or volume um, into a grid-based model by visualizing the data um, using uh, volume rendering techniques, adding contours, ISO surfaces, and then finally image slices. So we're also going to be combining map types and customizing the model. Um, so we can create a cohesive final report figure, uh, which I'm going to show you how to export and then customize a 3D PDF. And then we're going to do all this while showing uh, you how to create the conceptual site model uh, in the new version of Surfer. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and uh, slide into the details. <music> 